as I said in the last video, this one originally was going to be part of the other one. I was going to do it all in one, but I thought it might be a bit too long, so I've split it into two. So this is the second half of my walk, which is from Misham to Oxted. And I'm starting again at St Catherine's Church in Misham, where I have my lunch break. And this is the next bit along from there. So if you get some crossover of words, you'll understand why, because originally it was, it was all one. This tunnel I'm about to go under goes under the M23. So, been over the M25 and I'm going under the M23. Well, it's been a, another steep climb up through a muddy, wet field, but now I'm up here. As ever, it's worth it. It's a nice old Flintstone barn. Well, apart from walking across a very wet and muddy field from the M23, so far, most of it's been wet tracks or roadway, trackway, roadway. And there's great puddles in it, which is easy going. Look at that. Don't think that'll fly again, do you? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, it's easy going. Uh, yeah, say no more. It's easy going. This, believe it or not, is purely a folly. Looks like it ought to be more than that, doesn't it? It's called White Hill Tower. I wonder if it was built to be a ruin. This is Sleepy Surrey, in the shadow of the M25 in Gatwick. I like walks generally, you know, I, like, I like walking up mountains in Wales and the lakes and um, going across the moorlands of Derbyshire and things like that. But I think I particularly like trails because You've got that sense of destination, even if you're only kind of doing them a bit at a time rather than doing big chunks or doing it in one. There's still that sense of, I'm here and I'm going to make my way to there. So you've got a goal, you've got an aim to, that you're going for. And yeah, that really appeals to me, it appeals to my travelling sort of whatever it is inside me and going one place to another so yeah national trails I really like them it really does it for me and uh, I've enjoyed doing this one I mean it's not as wild as the Pennines or uh, bits of Offers Dyke or Offers Dyke but it's got its own little features and beauties and stuff like that 
bits of history along the way. It's good. It's good. I like it. And I think, I really hope, you know, I can get to walk a good few more national trails. I'm going to try and do the Cotswold Way this year, as well as completing this one. But we'll see. You know, life's busy and you don't always get time enough to do all the things you want to do, do you? I think I start most years with lots of plans and I'm going to do this and do that and go here and go there. But when you get to December, sometimes you look at it and think, oh well, next year. Although I can't complain, I've done a lot in 2017. Did a lot of walks. Really enjoyed finishing off the Ridgeway. That was beautiful, really beautiful. So, hopefully 2018 is going to be just as good. It's not better, eh? Let's be hopeful. Let's be optimistic. Lives for living. Not sitting in an office looking at a computer screen. It's best to be out here, isn't it? Okay. Much better. Much better. Look at this, all these old yew trees again. I wonder if yew trees, particularly yew trees, yew trees, particularly like chalky soil. I don't think I've ever seen so many. This is called Caterham Viewpoint. So I suppose you come up here, sit on a bench on a Sunday afternoon, and look at the view. Can't be bad. I hate this sort of thing, fly tipping. So, oh, it just messes up countryside, doesn't it? And all that it is. <laughs> ah, so annoying. So annoying. <laughs> Take it to the tip. I read somewhere, probably on Google, that uh, Surrey's got more trees than any other county in England and uh, these past three sections that I've walked, four sections now, I don't get to get the end of this one, I can certainly believe it. If you said what's the dominant factor in the North Downs way and I would say woodland mainly woodland which I really enjoyed um, it's just great to see so many trees always fear that uh, you know well, our woodlands disappearing and maybe it is maybe it is they're talking about creating the Dunham National Forest in Yorkshire, aren't they? Because we need more trees. Amen to that, more trees. But walking through, sorry, it's been good to see all the trees that are out here.
There's the M25 still. It's a constant companion. Or it has been a constant companion along the way. Not far off, I don't think, now from Oxted. This is the end of uh, North Downs Way for me today. Uh, I'm going to go down this road behind me, under, I think it goes under, the M25 to Oxted and then catch the train. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed the day. It's been a lot harder work than what I thought it would be. A lot more ups and downs and that's been made more strenuous, is that the word? Uh, because it's just been so muddy and slippery, so when you're trying to walk up, you can't get a firm foot in you. Your foot kind of slips a bit and just makes it harder work. But even so, it's, yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, great views, love walking through the woods. Still recommending it. My, my desire is to inspire other people to think, yeah, that's a walk I'd like to do. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. And uh, I'll see you next time when I shall carry on along there to wherever it is, the next part. I'm not sure, and I'm not sure when I'll do it, but I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.